Six thirty-two of Nashville's biggest law firms are battling it out in court against each other. Last week, Rocky McElhaney sued injury attorneys Hughes and Coleman. He's seeking millions of dollars in damages all over Google Ads. Yeah, here's News Channel 5's Chris Conte. As a personal injury attorney, Rocky McElhaney has spent years trying to build one thing, a reputation. Well, reputation for an injury attorney is everything. That is the reason why he was so stunned in February. And I was like flabbergasted. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? When an ad popped up on his iPhone. So I thought, well, maybe Google messed up. You know, maybe somehow this is just a mistake. Upon Googling his own name, Rocky discovered that the first search result was an ad appearing to be for his company. Look closely, though, and you'll see it was directing people to the website of Hughes and Coleman, one of McElhaney's biggest competitors. This is a, is a deceit of the public as much as it is a violation of my name rights. Even the phone number under the paid-for ad rings at a line at Hughes and Coleman even though it appears to be for Rocky McElhaney's law firm. So they designed the ad to trick the customer, the potential client for my firm, into thinking they were clicking on me. It's so serious that two of Nashville's biggest law firms will now battle it out in court. Last week, a judge issued a restraining order against Hughes and Coleman. The ad is gone, but Rocky wants $2.5 in damages. Experts I've talked to in the industry says this is not a mistake. News Channel 5 reached out to Hughes and Coleman today, but a spokesperson said the firm couldn't comment because litigation is pending. What does Hughes and Coleman have to gain by doing something like this? I think just, you know, just stealing clients. Everyone involved here is used to being in court, just not in this kind of capacity. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. In the interest of full disclosure, both Rocky McElhaney and Hughes and Coleman advertise on News Channel 5, but that in no way impacted our reporting.